Muhammad always predicted from a small boy that he would be the world's heavyweight champion. And I want to exclusively bring that out because he always said, told the kids in the neighborhood, I'm going to be champ of the world, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But a few of them laughed at Muhammad, but he always had the strong mind, the determination to do it, to stick by his word. And he did it. <laughs> Let me tell you why they're afraid. Some people can see farther than others. Some people are impressed with limitations. We all live in our own world of limitations. Some people can see farther than others. So therefore, when people judge what I'm doing with their logic, it can't be done. Their reasoning say it can't or shouldn't be done. Their knowledge of history says it can't be done. So their reasoning, their knowledge, and their logic clashes with my superior belief. Therefore, the result is they don't believe. In my opinion, that fights are always won with fists and not with mouth talk. I pick Liston to win by the fifth round. It has to be Liston. Liston is a much bigger puncher in the fifth round. Oh, I think in the third. I'm not quite sure that anything human can hurt Sonny Liston. It is befitting that I leave the game just like I came in, beating a big bad monster who knocks out everybody and no one can whoop him. That's when that little Cassius Clay from Louisville, Kentucky came up and stopped Sonny Liston, the man who annihilated Floyd Patterson twice. He was going to kill me. He hit harder than George. His reach is longer than George. He's a better boxer than George. And I'm better now than I was when you saw that 22-year-old undeveloped kid running from Sunday to Sunday. I'm experienced now, professional. Jaw's been broke, been knocked, knocked down a couple times. I'm bad. Been chopping trees. I've done something new for this fight. I done wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. You can Fast. Only last week I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. Man, dude. Bad. Fast. Fast. I told you, I'm the real champion. I told you, I'm the champion of the world. All of you bow, all of my critics call, all of you suckers who write the rain magazine, boxing no fair, all of you suckers bow because the stage was set. You made him great. You made him a bad John Wood. You made him a hard puncher. But I want everybody from this moment on to recognize me as the scholar of boxing. Once you come to the point of understanding what this man actually did, at the time it wasn't fashionable to step out and speak up, that you may get, you, you may be going for real. He stood up. And, and, it, and which taught a lot of other people to stand up and face, and take that chance of winning or losing. It's 
Growing up as a little boy, I always said if I could get famous, I'd do things to help my people that other people won't do. Every day uh, that we were there, there were beggars lined up in the hallway. And he would, he gave each one of them a hundred dollar bill. And I said, champ, why, why are you doing that? And he said, because a hundred dollars here is worth $10,000 at home. And that was him. I just hate to, to fight in it the way it did with him uh, cut like that. I hate to see blood and I don't like to see people hurt so bad and it just weakened me and I just couldn't stand the punch after I saw him bleed and I just had to stay off of him and wait for the referee to stop it. But I think the referee should have stopped it uh, the minute he was cut because it was that bad. He was a very, very um fatherly, uncool type figure. Yeah, very good guy. It was unbelievable meeting him because my dad used to love him, my mum used to love him, my, my brother used to love him, and actually meeting him for myself was an um, inspiring, very touching moment for me. He discovered something new, that the world really wasn't black and white at all. It was filled with many shades of rich colors, languages, and religions. I want to prove to myself that I can beat Holmes and I can win my title by four. For us, I'm the only man who had a chance to go four times. No man has ever won it three times. So why do we go to the moon? Because it's there. Why are we trying to go to Mars? Because it's there. Columbus wouldn't have discovered America if he didn't take a risk. So he who is not courageous enough to take a risk will accomplish nothing in life. I'm a risk taker and the four time championship is there. I'm the only man who got that close to it. So it's something I got to do. man in the world, and I want everybody out there on TV to know it. I am the greatest. Hey, and you, George Fullman, all of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. Cassius Clay goes into the record book with Corbett, Tony, and Braddock as another who brought off one of the great upsets in the heavyweight history. If you think I want Sonny Lister, you ain't like it, George Foreman. He talks too much, he's ugly, he's pretending I'm the true champion, and they make me the underdog, I'm going to show them all they're wrong, because I'm the champion, I'm the real champion. There'll never be one like me, and all you people in Britain who rank me as the greatest, I'm going to prove I'm the greatest, I'm going to prove to you I'm the greatest, we're going to prove to the world I'm the greatest, this is my last fight, I don't want none of you to miss it, so please come to 
creators. I'm going to eat some raw meat and I'm going to train. I'm going to get ready and chop some more trees. Growing up as a little boy, I always said if I could get famous, I'd do things to help my people that other people won't do. Okay.